Gaming Bolt presents 15 hardest PlayStation 1 games of all time. Looking back on the PlayStation 1 era doesn't just fill our hearts with joy at the memories of Final Fantasy, Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid, and Parappa the Rapper. It also reminds us of the most difficult titles in gaming, games that strained our patience and sense of enjoyment for years. Let's go through 15 of these titles today. Oddworld Abe's Odyssey Abe's Odyssey is darkly imaginative, but also fiercely tough. Not only can Abe be gunned down quickly, which the guards are more than happy to do, but there's no small amount of traps, obstacles, and disasters waiting to happen. Furthermore, Abe has to go out of his way to save his fellow mudikins. That is, unless a good ending isn't a priority for the player. Heart of Darkness Light battles darkness in this game about Andy striving to save his dog. Unfortunately, the controls aren't always on Andy's side, whether it's the inconsistent nature of his double jumps, pulling off running jumps, or simple positioning. Even if many of the puzzles aren't outright torturous, battling the controls is a challenge unto itself. Oh, and uh, don't forget, there's a very specific way to do everything, so keep trying and dying until you find it. Grand Theft Auto the Grand Theft Auto series isn't one that's typically associated with being difficult, barring some aggravating side quests here and there. The very first Grand Theft Auto is a real dicey affair though, with numerous difficulty spikes in the entire experience. Camera troubles, one-hit deaths, a set number of lives, and so on only make it more aggravating. Alundra Alundra is a game of puzzles, of lateral thinking, but more importantly, it's about patience. Whether it's lighting torches or platforming across blocks, the game puts you to the test and then slaps a time limit on top because, well, screw you. The Gilded Falcons alone can cause extreme frustration, but dealing with the platforming and the bosses makes for a tough experience. Crash Bandicoot 1 Naughty Dog's first Crash Bandicoot was tough enough that a dynamic difficulty to tone things down if players died too often was put in place. Though the recent remakes feel tougher with how the hitboxes operate, the first game was still incredibly unforgiving due to the precise jumps required. Of course, it's not like Crash can take tons of damage either, and don't even get us started on some of the bosses. Darius Gaiden Side-scrolling shoot-em-up Darius Gaiden is fairly typical when it comes to bullet hell games. However, it throws tough bosses, screens full of projectiles, homing laser attacks that are difficult to dodge, and a dynamic difficulty. And yes, you heard that right. A dynamic difficulty for a shoot-em-up where dying will revert the ship back to a weaker state. The difficulty further depends on the stage number, so don't count on the game getting that much easier later. Rayman If you haven't played the first Rayman, then rejoice. Fairly easy in the early going, Rayman's difficulty spikes with insane platforming sections that require very quick timing in levels that are seemingly endless. One can go for a long time without any additional lives, and trying to navigate all of this while finding hidden cages is another headache altogether. Also, Rayman doesn't disperse a whole lot of checkpoints, thus making you repeat annoying stretches of platforming if you make one mistake. Fear Effect 1 there's nothing really special about the difficulty in either Fear Effect 1 or 2, it's just that they're very hard games. Fear Effect 1 especially demands picture-perfect gameplay. Couldn't figure out that one puzzle? Well, instant death. Something which actually carried over into the underwhelming Fear Effect Sedna. At least the visual style was strong throughout. Tenshu Stealth Assassins Imagine a stealth game with ninjas. Sounds fun, right? Now make it so that items are lost on death. Tenchu Stealth Assassins embodies this idea while also providing next to no information on what you're supposed to do. There's a lot of trial and error necessary in order to proceed, but at least there are only 10 levels to suffer through. Einhander Square Enix wasn't all about Final Fantasy in the PS1 days. It also released the underrated shoot-em-up Einhander. Its futuristic atmosphere and fast action masked its incredible difficulty. Predicting where enemies would appear, dodging attacks, and enduring against bosses are but a few tasks to overcome. Dragon's Lair For all the talk of difficulty in today's games, very few games could compare to Dragon's Lair. Originally released for arcades before being ported to the PlayStation, this was the game to push your sanity. You have to know exactly when to attack, when to dodge, where to position Dirk the Daring, and so on. On top of all of that, the timing for some moves like ducking was tough to pull off. At least the game's visual style and death animations provided some entertainment in the midst of all of this suffering. 
Valkyrie Profile It's easy to forget just how difficult the first Valkyrie Profile actually was. Characters that aren't utilized won't gain experience with hard difficulty ensuring everyone joins at level 1. The difficulty starts spiking in the Tower of Lizard Valeth, and trying to earn that A ending will drive anyone without a guide insane. Hilariously enough, easy mode can actually be tougher since the best equipment is only found in hard mode dungeons, plus completing more battles which hard mode has means more experience points overall. Kingsfield Series Before From Software got its hands dirty with Demon Souls and Dark Souls, it was known for the Kingsfield series, and infamously for Echo Knight. Much of the Souls atmosphere can be seen in these games, though their actual difficulty came from the exploration aspect. Some levels were maze-like, and if lost, it can be incredibly tough to find your bearings. There isn't much depth to the combat or enemies, but tons of traps lay waiting to kill you. G. Darius What's worse than a bullet hell shoot 'em up in the Darius series? One that also features such quirks like an unlocked frame rate that can throw one off. Otherwise, many of the same annoyances apply. Tons of projectiles, attacks that can be nigh impossible to dodge, and so on. Sometimes obstacles can blend in with the background art, thus leading to frustrating deaths. With nine difficulty settings in total, G. Darius will definitely do its part to challenge you. Riven Well, welcome to Riven, where waffle iron might as well be a forbidden term, animal sounds must be memorized, and many puzzles have anywhere between hundreds to trillions of possible combinations. Of course, there's only one solution, and even that can get randomized for many puzzles when starting a new game. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.